Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today we are revisiting Promote, Collab, Avoid but this time we're doing it with a bit of twist. Basically we've got Wrestlemania next week so I figured it'd be nice today a wrestling based Promote, Collab, Avoid. Instead of Collab it'll be Team With, instead of Promote it'll be Rival and Avoid will still be Avoid. We've got Thomas sat off screen. As usual, he's going to be giving me the options and I'm going to be going for who I would team up with, who I would uh, have a rivalry with and who I would avoid. So, without further ado, let's get going. What's the first category, Tom? First category is face. We're doing faces, right. Face, for those who aren't wrestling fans, uh, they're the good guys, basically. First we've got Johnny John Cena. Next we've got AJ Styles. Roman Reigns. For tag team, 100%. It's going to be AJ Styles. AJ Styles is fucking incredible. So I, I, I would def, I definitely feel like I'd be able to work with him. He, he does work well with others. John Cena would be my avoid. For the main reason, anybody who faces John Cena, if they're brand new or whatever, they're buried. Look at, look at like the likes of Wade Barrett. I mean, fucking hell, he destroyed Wade Barrett. In a rivalry with Roman Reigns, I mean... Actually, if you're a rival against Roman Reigns, you're the one being fucking cheered. So, you know what? It's going to work in my favour. Definitely like that. Right, next category is heel. So next we've got heel, and on the flip side, it's instead of being the good guy, you're the bad guy. Rusev, Elias, and Drew McIntyre. Right. Uh, so obviously we're basing it off of who's heel right now. Right. Right. I would team with Elias. 100% because Elias is fucking fantastic on the mic. Right. He will be able to jostle war opponents. And plus, in ring, I don't think he gets enough credit. In ring, he is fucking incredible. And I don't think he gets enough credit for it. Going through with who my rival's going to be. It's going to be Millie McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, he's just, he's just got that pull about him. That pure hatred. Like, he can turn a crowd into a full fucking mob towards him. And that's what you want, the fan engagement in a full rivalry. The fan engagement to feel pure and incredible. But it does mean I'll be avoiding Rusev, but... Ruh, ruh. Uh, Rus Rusev, again, is underappreciated. But I feel like I've went the right way with this. So, next category is Aerialist. Mustafa Ali, Rey Mysterio, Ricochet. This one's difficult. Right, I'm teaming up with Ricochet. Ricochet blows my fucking mind. It blows everybody's mind. Exactly, and to be able to work with somebody as th with that calibre. I mean, fuck's sake, that guy could carry me for a match. But now we get to the rivalry, and we've we've got two great ones, but I feel like I'm going to have to go with Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has definitely got the advantage because of the whole, you know, he's built a, This is his career. He's been doing it for so long. When you think about aerialists, the first person that you think of, is Rey Mysterio. It means avoiding Mustafa Ali. Oh, I never thought I'd say that in my life, but I am avoiding Mustafa Ali here. God. Right, next up we're going to have underdogs. Daniel Bryan, Kofi Kingston, Sami Zayn. I think I'm setting my rivalry against Daniel Bryan. It comes down to how well you can bounce off of the person. And Daniel Bryan can work with just about anybody when he's against them. My tag team, it's got to be the tag team specialist, the one person who's been in more tag teams than anybody that I know, Kofi Kingston. Every tag team he's been in, maybe they've not had pure success, but they've always looked fucking fantastic. They've always looked incredible, which does mean I'm avoiding Sami Zayn. He's given me some good ones here because none of these I want to avoid. Sami Zayn, again, is an incredible fucking athlete. Next we'll go to NXT, and that includes NXT UK as well. Tyler Bitt, Adam Cole, and Matt Riddle. It's a tricky one. To team way, for me, it's going to be Tyler Bitt. Mustache Mountain. Aye, uh, Tyler Bitt is... He's fucking brilliant. That's all I can really say. I don't think I need to add anything else into that. Don't. For rivalry, there's only one person on this that it fits for the fucking rivalry. Adam Cole, baby! Of course, Adam Cole's going to be the fucking rivalry. The guy brings charisma. He brings talent. He, he brings everything to the table. Adam Cole, hands down, one of the best NXT have. Like, the actual NXT brand, one of the best they have. But it does mean that I'm avoiding Matt Riddle. 
And it's not for the reason that he's relatively new or anything. Bro. Exactly. He, he's fucking incredible. It's just I prefer the other two. Next up, we'll go powerhouses. Brock Lesnar. Sheamus. Samoa Joe. I'm teaming with Samoa Joe. I'm going back to something that I keep saying. Underappreciated. They put the United States title on them, but that title. The United nothing. States Championship means absolutely fuck all at the minute. Brocky Brock Lesnar for the rivalry. It's a draw, innit? Uh, Brock Lesnar does pull in the fucking crowd. Uh, Brock Lesnar's brilliant at playing a powerhouse in the ring. I just wish that he'd be that man. And it does mean I'm avoiding Sheamus. He don't just set the bar. We, we are the bar. Something that you never say. Uh, you never pretend to be fucking Cesaro in that situation. It's always Sheamus. So the next category is going to be Mike Specialist. Right. Uh, for anybody who doesn't understand that, somebody who's amazing on the mic. First we got The Miz. EC3, The Rock. Unfortunately, I'm avoiding EC3. It's literally because of the way it's going to go with the other two. The Rock, I'm going to pick the team with. Uh, the big reason for that is The Rock knows how to big up his tag team partner. The Miz, is there anybody better in the business to have as a rival on the mic? The Miz just knows how to spout pure shit. Get the fans fucking hating him. He has probably one of the best mic specialist heels in, well, fucking forever. Last one, last one Legends. Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Ricky Steamboat. Tag team with Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat was fucking revolutionary when it came to being an aerialist superstar. He wowed so many with his fucking in-ring talent. Right, I'm going to be having a rivalry with the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, Ultimate Warrior again brings full charisma. The fans fucking loved him. But the biggest reason that I'm having a rivalry with him is because it's got to be avoid Hulk Hogan. He's a he's an egomaniac. He's a Hulkamaniac. He's a Hulkamaniac, brother. Um, but aye, that's the way it's going to go. But aye, there you go. There's uh, our little promo collab avoid with a twist. Uh, aye. Pterodactyl Tom saying goodbye. Wah! <laughs> uh, and aye, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to butt fuck that like button. Please.